really windy out here so I'm not sure how this is going to work out but I just wanted to make a short video about checking vacuum regulator filters this Cessna 172 behind or 182 behind me is a typical installation where uh, at least on the, the ones that are beyond a certain date after a certain date some of the older ones had a vacuum regulator in the engine compartment but the older ones had the vacuum regulator behind the firewall so on the instrument panel side and the vacuum regulator has a little band filter a garter filter on it that needs to be changed periodically now preferably the best interval is maybe once to change it every year or two but at least check it and so what i often do in the annual inspection is grab let that airplane go by i like to at least grab a hold of this filter and pull on it and release it and it should act a bit like a rubber band and go back to where it came from without any pieces pulling off of it now recently this one i'm holding here this white one is a brand new one that's what they look like brand new now i also have the remains <laughs> wow see the brown crumbs that one actually came out of well uh, it's matt bolick's airplane his 182 and he told me i could use his airplane for any podcast elements i want to so um uh yeah that one when i grabbed a hold of it it crumbled apart so it's probably been in there for i don't know i would estimate at least maybe 10 or 15 years maybe 20 years who knows so just a reminder check those vacuum regulator filters and also the vacuum inlet filters that are located under the instrument panel in most of the airplanes that have vacuum systems for the instruments so just wanted to show that to you and i don't find i don't usually find them in that terrible of condition that they come apart in crumbs but every now and then i do find that so just a reminder to check those filters. See ya.